What's up everybody? You got barbecue and bottles here and today we're continuing with another experiment on this journey to figure out how to cook the perfect steak in cast iron. We've really been enjoying this journey. If you've got any thoughts on things we should be experimenting with or testing with, let us know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out these experiments as we go along. Today, we're gonna be testing out whether you should actually tent your steak after you've finished searing it in cast iron. We've had a couple comments here that tenting it really steams the steak and that steam will destroy the crust that's been created in the cast iron. Now, of course, tenting lets you retain the heat in the steak. So we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see what's better. Are you better, is it really destroying the crust? Or if you don't tent, is the steak gonna get cold too quickly? So stick around, roll that intro. So we've had these steaks out, brought them up to room temperature. Now we're just gonna take a towel, pat them dry. In the last video we tested whether it made sense to warm your steaks up to room temp, and it did. So that's what we're gonna be doing from here on out. Make sure you get all the moisture off your steaks. Perfect, just like that. Now we're gonna go in and just season this with a little sea salt and pepper. We've got some thick sirloins here, so be generous with your seasoning. Some fresh cracked pepper. Turn these over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna let this sit for a little over an hour and just let that seasoning absorb into the steak, relax some of those muscle fibers, make the steak super tender. So I'm just gonna turn the burner on, get this lit up. Now I'll get the cast iron on here. And now we want the temperature to get up to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit at a minimum. So we'll let this warm up, check back. Let's go check on the steaks, see how those are doing. So we're gonna be testing three different tenting methods. One will totally wrap in foil, another will loosely tent, and the other we won't tent at all. But in order to get uh, the steak into the same cast iron pan, what we're gonna do is we've gone ahead and cut one of these sirloins in half. We've got a full sirloin over here. So now let's go check the temp of our cast iron and see how that's shaping up. So we want the surface temperature of the cast iron pan to be over 400 degrees. So we've got our infrared thermometer here. You can see the reading is about 450 right in the middle. So that's perfect. We can go ahead and put our oil on. Here we're just using an avocado oil because it has a really high smoke point. So we'll put a generous amount of that in the pan. Here we've got one of these lodge cast iron handles so that you don't burn yourself while you're using your cast iron pan. Got that oil mixed around there, around giving a perfect layer on the bottom of the pan. Now let's drop the steaks in. So we're just prepping the garlic for the pan. You're just gonna wanna take your chef's knife, go like that, give it a light tap. Now you don't wanna de-skin it or anything. Just leave the peel on. You just wanna unlock the flavors, just like that. So we've had the steaks in the pan for about four minutes now, and we're just gonna flip them. Look at that crust. Now we're gonna add in a generous amount of butter. We've got about two minutes left in this cook. Perfect. Now we're gonna add in our crushed garlic and a little bit of rosemary just for flavor. So now we're gonna baste the steaks. We just wanna Take a spoon and ladle some of that butter 
you can smell this, it's absolutely incredible. You can smell the flavors of the butter with the rosemary mixed in, the garlic as well. And this is just gonna add some incredible flavors to the steak. Get in there, get this all on top. So we're going to want to take these steaks off when the internal temp hits about 130. So this one here, reading 129. So we're going to pull that one off and we're going to wrap that in foil. So now we're going to wrap this tightly. So we've got this nice and tightly wrapped. This will be experiment number one. This steak's at 129 as well. So we're gonna pull that one, and this one, we're just gonna loosely tent. So we're just gonna loosely tent this one, like that. Now let's take these two steaks inside, and we'll get the third one off. So now we're checking the temp of the third and final steak here. 26, seven, 128, time to pull this one as well. Now this one, we're just gonna let rest on a plate and we're not gonna tent it at all. So from right to left, we've got the steak that was fully wrapped in foil, the one that was lightly tented, and the steak that was just left out untouched. So we'll do a little zoom in here on each crust. There doesn't really seem to be a noticeable difference, to be honest, in the different crusts. Now we're gonna check the temperatures. This one maintained an internal temp at 128. This one rose, so there is about five degrees carryover. And this one rose, it actually had about seven degrees carryover. So on this, I'm actually gonna give the untented steak the win here. As long as you're not actually cooking outdoors with wind and cold, I don't think there's any need to tent. The other plus is you're not gonna get as much carryover from the pan and after 10 minutes of resting, this one stayed almost the exact same temperature. The lightly tended one increased five degrees and the fully wrapped one increased seven. So this, for this experiment, we're gonna give the win to this steak here. Don't tent your steaks. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this experiment, we'd love to hear your comments in the below. Let us know if you've got any other ideas on experiments we should run here. Thanks for tuning in.